We'll take a break from running code. Um, you often hear that Occam is the assembly language of the transputer. Not really quite true. The transputer does actually have its own instruction set, and it looks more like a RISC processor than, uh, than Occam. Uh, whether it's RISC or CISC is kind of up to debate. It does have uh, more sophisticated instructions, but it also has some simple ones. So here's a URL that has a little blurb about uh, the transputer instruction set. This is my copy of the NMOS release transputer instruction set, a compiler writer's guidebook. Transputer instruction set at the bottom uses byte instructions, 8-bit instructions, and they have a 4-bit opcode and a 4-bit operand. Um, but you can use multiple instructions to build up larger instructions. So you can make 16, 32, and 64-bit instructions out of the 8-bit instructions. So that's why it's a little CISC-like as well as RISC-like. Um, this uh, prefix instruction here is involved in building up uh, small instructions into bigger instructions. So again, you can do a 32-bit memory access if you want to. It just takes a bunch of little uh, byte uh, instructions to do that. So here are the 16 uh, 4-bit opcodes that you can possibly have. Again, they also have 256 8-bit uh, 8, 8 opcodes. I mean, just the floating point unit alone uses a whole bunch of uh, opcodes. Um, let's take a quick look at some of these. Um, prefix is something that's used for building up instructions. And it's kind of clever. What you can do is you can load a nibble four bits into a register, but then you can also shift up what was in the register before up by four bits. So you shift up by four bits, then load four bits, shift up by four bits, and load the four bits. So this way you can build up instructions without having to go through all the memory addressing um, nonsense that you normally would. So that's actually a pretty clever thing. Um, they have load local, load non-local, load constant, equals constant. That's one of the most common tests. Um, they don't so much do overflow, underflow, all that other nonsense. They figure out a way of making that equals, you know, equals a constant. Does it equal five? Does it equal zero? Uh, and they just turn those into that. You can add a constant. That's certainly a good fundamental operation. Add by one is probably the most common instruction and software. Call um, is there. You can write, you know, compilers for languages that use calls uh, very easily. Um, Occam doesn't really directly have a call, but you can execute a process in line. So that's pretty much a call. Function calls are pretty much function calls. So it does kind of have a call. Um, so it's kind of there. There's a conditional jump uh, this is the most despised instruction in all of software. Uh, if X is greater than zero, then go to uh, is considered horrible coding. Um, I s assume there are very, very good programmers who've never used the word go to in their whole lives. So this may be historic. Um, operate means that you built up an instruction and you're now going to execute it. And so there's still store local, store non-local. Uh, I think the whole non-local thing means you're using a register to access something. So it's kind of the same as an indirect access. Uh, so again, you can look through this here. Again, are the 4-bit opcodes you have. And again, there's a whole bunch of 8-bit opcodes as well. So that's what the actual transputer instruction set really looks like. Um, there are three registers, A, a reg, B reg, C reg, which are arranged in a stack. Um, LPTR, which is an instruction pointer. There's a work pointer, WPTR, and OREG and operand reg. That's kind of like the indirect index indexing. Um, even though the transputer uses a stack, apparently the fourth community doesn't really like it because they think stack should be five deep rather than three deep. So there was a big kerfuffle about that. So even though it's stack based, um, it's not really fourth approved. Uh, stacks, in case you don't really remember, is kind of like the old reverse pulse notation calculators where you push operand, push operand, add, pop sum. 
And so that really keeps you from having to come up with a whole bunch of little local variables all over the place. You can use the heck out of the stack and you just reuse and reuse and reuse the same uh, space over and over again. So stacks are very, very memory efficient. Uh, you don't really need many uh, variable declarations when you're stack based. One of the challenges of coming up with the actual instruction set de decoding was they wanted the four bit op codes to be the absolute most common ones. So that way they would get the biggest benefit for having a, an eight byte instruction. So they figured out that all these 16 were the most common used. And so that gives you kind of a big savings that you don't need a 32 bit instruction to add one. So that was kind of a challenge of the transputer, but I think they did it pretty well. So that's kind of a clever feature. It doesn't really have a jump instruction, but it does kind of have a call instruction in that you can put a, a procedure in line and define it elsewhere, or you can certainly have a function call where you assign a, var a variable to the output of a function. So call is kind of part of Occam, but not as directly as um, some. And again, jump and call would allow you to write a basic compiler if you wanted to. So the instructions are there. If you have languages that do need those constructs, they're readily available. At a lower level, the transputer is actually microcoded itself. So there's a whole another level of instructions below the level of transputer uh, instructions, uh, transputer instructions, the microcode instructions. I won't really get into that, but uh, I can certainly see things like message passing are complex enough that it would be much, much easier to do that with a microcoded engine than trying to slug that out of uh, NAND gates and flip-flops. So that was pretty uh, sensible of them to do that. Hey, that's just a really brief look at the transputer. Basically, this was all just to convince you that Occam isn't the assembly language of the transputer.